And just like that, folks, good morning. We are back here at Cape Breton County Recreation Center for Championship Sunday as your Andy Ganesh Bulldogs will face off against the Glace Bay Miners here in the first semifinal action of the day. Andy Ganesh brings a perfect 3-0 record from the round robin into today's game. And while we wait for puck drop here, I will be your host once again here, Matt Durle, alongside Justin Belanger here in the High Button Sports booth. Today's starting goaltenders, first for the Glace Bay Miners, number 29, Noah Bootlier. And for the Indianish Bulldogs, after an absolutely outstanding game, the last one we called, number 30, Austin Bowie. And I do apologize for the mispronunciation of the name, but it is Bowie. And we are officially underway here, folks. As the Miners are going to have the first rush here, as McKenzie's going to make his way down the right side. He's going to have a shot there, and that's going to be the first touch for Bowie as that hits his skate and goes in behind the net now. So the Bulldogs are just going to clear that up to the left point. Now that shot and that's blocked doesn't make its way to the net. Carr, the speedy Carr, he's going to wake down the middle now. He's got Morell with him. Carr down the right side, no offside. He makes for his options. That puck slides off his stick. McLean now is going to battle Carr. Right corner. McKenzie's going to pick that up for the Miners now. McKenzie through the middle to Kaiser. Kaiser has that bounce off his stick. And away goes McKinnon against Kaiser. Good stick lift there by McKinnon as he finds his option. Morell up the ice. Now he's going to go through the middle looking for McIsaac. McIsaac finds himself on the score sheet quite a bit here this weekend. Because now that's pushed up to center ice. Kaiser's going to come in the right side. He's going to fire that. That's tipped. And that goes wide. Doesn't make it to the net. Is in behind the net. Now Sangster. Sangster. Through the middle. Intercepted now. And that was Duggan looking for the fast break, but that's picked off there by McNeil for the Miners. He's going to come down the right side. He's got a step. McNeil turns, shoots. The save there by Bowie, and the first real good touch there for him, for Bowie. Not Bowie. Get it right up here. Away go the Bulldogs now as that's intercepted at the line as Artabella was pinched off now. O'Coin. He's going to get that in the left corner. He's going to fight against McDonald there, who comes up with the puck, and they're just going to flick that up to the point now. Shot. That's going to go wide of the net left as now McNeil for the Miners is going to give chase. He's going to cut back the other way as Sangster bumps him off the puck. Into the corner now. McKinnon. McDonald, sorry. I'll get it eventually here. Up the right side now. Wiggle the Bulldogs. Cut to the middle. Fougier. Duggan offside there. And just a step ahead. That's going to be the first offside call here this morning with 13.06 left to go. So 15 minute periods. Here in the championship Sunday round. Give these youngsters a few extra shifts out there. Love to see it. As the faceoff comes outside the minor zone now as McKenzie turns, and he's going to win that one as Morell's going to give chase here on Link. Link tries to get a step there, but he's pinched off. Morell now is going to pick it up on the left side just in the neutral zone there, and now it's picked up by the Miners. Hogan, break out pass to Hannon. Hannon's going to go down the left side. He's just going to try and get that deep, but it's intercepted. Chip off the wall now for the Bulldogs as Diker was looking for that. As now McIsaac's going to go back here for the Bulldogs. And that's going to be an icing call as they were on the wrong side of the red line. We're going to come down just to the left side of Bootlier here, the young Glace Bay goaltender. Good crowd on hand here. So now Dykers is going to line up here against McKenzie in the face-off dot. As that one will go down in the book as a draw here as that squirts out to the point. Now it's going to be chipped by as Surrett's going to give chase against McIsaac here. McIsaac for the Bulldogs. He's got Surrett on him still. McIsaac goes down there and so does Surrett. So the puck squirts free. And away go the Bulldogs. That's Murphy down the left side. Murphy battling hard there against McNeil. McNeil, one-on-one -on -one now. He had recruits, but they went to the bench. McNeil's got a step now. Shot! And a save there by Bowie as he just stood tall there and didn't want to go down, and he made the right call. So that hits him square in the pads, and another good save there by Bowie. Dykers now. He's going to cause a turnover inside neutral ice, and he's just going to chip that one down low as he takes a small bump from Hogan right at the Glace Bay bench. McNeil with a cheeky little move there as he flips that one by, and he's going to make way up the middle. McNeil with recruits here. McNeil cuts the middle. Pass over. Shot, another save there by Bowie as that was another good attempt there from McNeil and the Miners. Pass out front now, and that's going to be intercepted. Away goes Carr. He's going to make his way down the left side just inside neutral ice. 
He's going to try and fire that one into the middle. McIsaac, but that's intercepted by Junior McNeil for the Miners. McIsaac, cut to the middle. And Kyra was just in a step before as McIsaac was in his blind spot. So we're going to have a change here all around. If you're just joining us here, we do welcome you. 15-minute periods here on Sunday. There were 12 during the round robin. First semifinal action here. As Andy Ganesh looks to punch their ticket here to the big dance. As McLean's going to get that, he's just going to go soft chip off the wall. Artabello now in over the line. He's going to cut to the middle. He's on the back end. Artabello turns, fires, looks for his options, looking for Fougier in front. That was just off his stick as Graham was there to intercept. As Sangster holds that in at the left blue line. He goes through the middle now, but that's still held in by the Bulldogs as Artabello's going to jump on that. Now it's stolen away, shot there, and that hits the feet of McLean and doesn't get through. As that was Morell who took a bump there. Now they hold that in again. Artabello very active at the point here. Shot gets through, and Morell gets a tiny piece of it, but Bootlier is going to smother that one up in the crease, and we're going to have a face-off just to his left here in front of the high button booth. Miners in the black jerseys. Andy Ganesh wearing the traditional white, black, and yellow that we've all known for so long. As McNeil gives a quick stretch there before the face-off, wants to loosen up those shoulders. He's just going to fire that off the wall. Dykers is there. He's just going to fire that down low. Up to the point now. McIsaac for the Bulldogs. He's just going to try and fire that one down low, and he does. As now that goes to Duggan. Duggan in behind the net now. He's just going to try to go up to the point, but Kaiser was there for the Miners. Now he's going to take it. He goes through the middle to McNeil. McNeil on Murphy. Move to the middle. A pass there for Surrett, and he wasn't paying attention, so that's going to end up down in the anti Gittish zone as Dykers goes, and he rims that around. Dwyer now, he's going to battle on the wall with Kaiser. He's going to come up with the puck. He's going to go chip off the wall just over the stick there of McLean. As now Duggan's going to give chase into the minor's zone. As Dixon goes around there, he's got Duggan right on him. Duggan with the poke check. He's going to steal that one. Big turnover for Duggan. Now he cuts back, trying to work his way to the net here. And a good job there by Dixon to get that back. As now we're going to have a delayed penalty. And it's going to be a tripping call here. On Dykers, didn't actually see the play, but that's why the referees are out there. So first power play of the day here for the Miners with 9.47 left to go here in the first frame. We'll see if the Bulldogs can come up with a big penalty kill early here. Big penalty kill usually leads to good momentum shift as McNeil gets that puck off the faceoff and he fires that towards the net. So Kaiser's going to try and pick that up now, and he has Armstrong on him hard. Armstrong and Kaiser tangled up on the wall. Puck comes back to the point. Morgan's just going to flip that in low, and that's going to be played by a high stick from Kaiser, but it's going to be a null here as Andy Ganesh touches up first. McIsaac looking for his options. Tries to dump that out, but McNeil was there with the stick lift. Him and Armstrong collide now. Two bodies on the ground. So nobody's really sure where the puck is, but Armstrong is, and he tries to clear that, and that finds a stick of McIsaac. McIsaac's going to have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here as Dixon does a good job there to steal that puck away. As now McKenzie's over, and he looks for McNeil in the middle of the ice. McNeil, little move, but a poke check there. That's going to be tried to send it down the length of the ice, but that's fanned on, and away goes McKenzie. McKenzie inside the right side blue line. He's down the right wall, through the middle to Kaiser, and a good back check there by Carr as Kaiser was all alone. And good awareness there from the young car to pick up the open man. So take note there, folks. As that shot was deflected into the corner, now they're going to try and fire that out front. They're going to go up off the glass as McIsaac's going to get there for the Bulldogs. He tries to make a move, and that's turned over again here by Kaiser. Kaiser shot, blocked in the feet now. And that's going to be cleared there. So good job, sacrifice the body here with 40 seconds left to go in the man advantage. Dixon now looking for his options. He's just going to find McNeil on the right side. McNeil back to Dixon. Dixon, up the wall. He's pressed there by Fougier. Now that puck's going to find its way to Sangster down inside the Bulldog zone. Sangster's going to turn. He's going to fire that up the wall, and that's going to go the length of the ice here, so that'll take off a good chunk of time here for the Bulldogs. As Morgan goes back, he's looking for his options. He makes a move through the middle there. He just gets by Morell at the last second. Otherwise, Morell was in all alone. As Hannon now, he makes a move at the blue line. He's pinched off. Artabello now, he's going to loop in behind his own net. He has a hard time with that puck as he was moving at a high speed. 
It's going to be sent down the ice here, and that's going to do it here for the man advantage. So a big kill here for the Bulldogs early on in the first period as Dixon's going to go back for it. Morell's hard on him. Dykers, fresh out of the box now. Draws a turnover, tries to center that. That's intercepted. Hannon, he's got Duggan on him. Hannon up to Junior McNeil. Murphy gets on his horse. He's going to get there first and neutralize. And away goes Dykers. Dykers, one on three. On Dixon, cuts to the right. Dykers now, looks at his options. He's going to try and center that, but a good diving play there by Dixon as Link picks that up. Now it's back the other way as Dixon's just going to send that the length of the ice, and that's going to go down for icing here. And a good safe play there by Dixon. With 7.13 left to go here in the first period. As the young Link here is going to work on his Mohawk turns before the faceoff, so keeping the skills sharp out there. Lots of support for the goaltenders I've found in this tournament here is every time a play happens, they go down and give a tap and lifelong friends being made here. As McDonald's going to try and fire that, Duggan's going to have a chance now. Duggan shot, oh, and a big glove save there by Bootlier as Dykers was crashing hard and he puts his hands up. In innocence there is good shot by Duggan from the point blank scoring area. Now we're going to switch sides for the draw here as Dykers and McKenzie are going to line up now. As Duggan almost got caught cheating there. Nobody sees it. And that puck's going to squirt free there as McDonald was looking for that loose puck. Dykers back to the point. Murphy, he's going to fire that through, and that's blocked by Hogan. Back to Duggan. Duggan on the backhand. He has a hard time with that one. Now he has it. Up to the point. McIsaac's going to shoot that through. Dykers now tries to fire that through the middle. He gets it back. Dykers in the corner. Now he's got McKenzie on him hard, and he takes a spill. And they're all tangled up down there. As now the puck moves up ice. Surrett waiting for his line mates. Surrett's going to go down the right side. McIsaac, he's going to try and pinch him off, but Surrett still has. He's going to fire that off the side of the net there. So won't go down as an official shot on goal, even though it did hit the goal. McIsaac now, he's just going to chip and go here, looking for Duggan. Duggan in a race with Link. Uses that long reach. And now he's going to make a move through the middle, and he tries to find McIsaac again. But here's Armstrong joining late. Back down low, looking for McIsaac. Good heads up there, but... In good defensive position was McKenzie. As now the speedy car swoops in, and he's going to steal that, and they're looking for McIsaac back on transition. McIsaac tries to poke and go around the big body of Hogan there. Carr moves it through the middle. Carr over for Morell. Morell had a step. The puck bounced over his stick as he was in a good scoring chance area. Morell back down low. The Bulldogs working the cycle here. Out front looking for McIsaac. McIsaac's going to get that on the back end. He tries to fight through the crowd, but McNeil's there. He's off the other way. McNeil with Hannon and McNeil. Backhand, we'll call it a saucer pass as those two collide. As Armstrong slow to get to his feet, or Carr, sorry. McLean at the point. Shot tipped to McNeil in front, and he fanned on that as Bowie had that all locked and loaded as he was point blank in the slot there, and away goes McIsaac. McIsaac. Tries to go chip and go, but McLean a good read. So Carr now, he's going to pick that up for the Bulldogs. He tries to get that in deep. McLean, good outlet pass up off the wall there. Sangster and McNeil are going to go for it here. Sangster gets there first, but McNeil's there as well. Puck's going to find Artebello now for the Bulldogs. He's going to go break out pass. So good positioning was Fougier there on the wing. As now he has to dangle the linesman. Artebello's going to jump in the play once again. He's just going to get the red line and get that deep, and that's going to bounce in behind the miners net there as Dwyer was there first and Graham heard the footsteps there. He tried to get rid of that as quickly as he could and that's going to end up in the corner as Fougier for check. Sangster from the point. Shot. Hits his own player, Duggan. Again, Artebello at the point. Another shot off the shin pads of McNeil as Duggan's slow to get to his feet. Graham's now away and Duggan's up and he's making his way back to the bench. That's a good sign. As away goes Dwyer. Dwyer's going to cut to the left side here. Stays wide. Dwyer makes a move there, and that's stolen by Dixon with a good stick there. Morell's hard on the forecheck, and he's just going to fire that at the net, and that's going to hit Bootlier, and he's just going to smother that up with Dwyer charging hard here. 4.05 left to go here in the first period. Chances at both ends though, thus far, waiting for this thing to completely open wide up. We're going to have to get McKenzie's feet back into position there. 
As they tie up off the draw, and Dixon's going to turn and go the other way. He's going to look up the right wall, but he doesn't like what he sees there, so he's going to loop behind the net, but he loses that one. Morell fires that out front, looking for McDonald and McKenzie. Kaiser and O'Connor away here for the Miners. As McKenzie with a good step down the right side. Murphy's going to press him there and take away that lane as they go flying into the boards. Now the puck squirts out front here as McKenzie's now to his feet. That puck's just going to be chipped out as Morell's going to go. Morell on Dixon. He's just going to chip that as Dixon read that. He's going to fire that back down as McDonald picks it up for the Bulldogs. McDonald, he's going to make a move through the middle. McDonald through traffic, trying to find some space. He's bumped there by McNeil. No call. Dixon. He's going to join the rush. Down the right side. Shot tipped by Bowie just to the left. There's McKinnon now. He tries to rim that, but in good position was McNeil. McNeil's going to get it back for the Miners now. He's going to go backdoor pass. Shot. Oh, no coin. Had a point blank chance. Because that one sh is shot wide right of the net there. Now Carr's going to look for a turnover, but good job by Dixon to hold the line. That's going to find McNeil for the Miners now. He's going to make a move. He's going to try and cut to the middle, but now he's going to go behind. Tries to flick that up. Signs a Trevor Zegris there as Carr's trying to get away now, but it's held in again here by the Miners. So good pressure here by the Miners and a good test here early on for the Bulldogs. As now that puck's going to find McIsaac, and McIsaac's away. He's going to... We have a penalty now as Morgan took McIsaac down on the wall just in front of the Miners bench. And so now McIsaac's down. As McNeil from the Miners looks quite concerned there. Clearly no intent on this scenario here. Isaac's getting back up to his feet here. He plays the game hard. Now he's back to his feet, so always great to see. He's a great player there for the Bulldogs, but he's back to the bench and he's up and gets a nice applause here from both teams and the crowd. As you can tell out here, there's absolutely no intent to injure anybody at this level. These kids are out here for pure enjoyment of the game, and it's very apparent. So tough break there for McIsaac. We hope he's okay up here in the booth, and we look forward to seeing him back on the ice. Faceoff push to the right now. They're going to go back to the point. All right, Tabella's just going to fire that, and that hits McNeil, but McNeil tried to go on the fast break. So sent down the ice now by Dixon. Is anything in issues on their first power play here? And two minutes left to go. Just over two minutes now in the first period. The Bulldogs are looking to break out now. And a good read there by Artabello to take the right side of the net there to get that puck. As now that goes to Fougier. Fougier. He's going to shoot that and hits his own bench. So that's going to go back over into neutral ice there for a face off. And I think Fougier might have thought they were on the penalty kill as that's how it started for them. Nonetheless, faceoff stays in the neutral zone here. 128 left to go here in the man advantage. And a good opportunity here to take a late lead. Sangster. He's going to go up off the wall and a good chip pass for Morell. Morell's going to take that one hand on the backhand. They try to clear that, and that's off his shin pads and deep. Dixon's just going to send that the length of the ice, and that's going to make its way down to the right of Bowie. Sangster now. He's going to pick that up with speed. He's got O'Coin on him. Chip pass to McDonald. McDonald. He's going to make a move now. Looking for some space. McDonald down the right side. He continues to wheel through the middle. Looking for Dykers. Now he loses that. McDonald through the middle now. He, that gets poked in behind the net. Dykers is on it. He's going to rim that around the right side. Dykers looks for his options. He's going to fire that up in the slot to McDonald. McDonald shot. Tipped there and a good save by Bootlier as he had Morell and Dykers crashing hard there. Now they try and clear and the Bulldogs keep it in as Dykers blows the tire and he's going to keep that deep. That puck hits Sangster. Now we're going to have a too many men call here. As Sangster was heading to the bench for the change, and that dump hit him in the feet. And the Antigonish bench is arguing here that he didn't play the puck, and I'm not 100% on the ruling, but I'm almost certain 
that when you have too many guys on the ice, the puck has to be played with intent. I'm not saying the ref is wrong here. I'm just giving my personal opinion up here in the booth. As it was a very short conversation at the Bulldogs bench. So now we try and figure out who's going to head to the sin bin here. And that's going to get rid of Andy Ganish's power play here. And a tough break there is clearly he had no real intentions to play the puck there. He probably just felt it in his feet, turned around, and there it was. So it is going to be Sangster serving this one here as the faceoff is going to head back down into the Bulldog zone with a minute seven left to go here in the first period. So now as we wait for the faceoff here, now we're going to have a go as McNeil and McIsaac back out there. So McIsaac, tough cookie. As now he's going to get that puck. He's got Carr with him. McIsaac's going to make down, ways down the left side. He's got a step down. McIsaac, he's going to look. Good pass there for the stick of Carr and a real good saucer pass there and a great look through traffic. And that was a good chance there for McIsaac. So continue his offensive prowess here. McIsaac centers that, and that's going to be picked up by Hannon. Hannon's away. Last minute to play in the first period. So McIsaac's going to cut across the ice and pinch him off as Hannon makes his way down. He's going to shoot that. And that's deflected there as McNeil's going to pick it up. And Bowie is in a tough spot. He makes a good glove save there as that goes up over the net. For much appreciation from the crowd here. 25 seconds left to go. And that puck's going to be dumped in deep now. With 20 seconds left to go now. With the Bulldogs now officially penalty killing. So the Biners are going to be on their second power play here. As that stretch pass was looking for Kaiser. But a good read there by McKinnon to step up and intercept that. Because now he has two minors on him with four seconds left to go. So Armstrong's going to pick that up and just try and rim that around and kill the rest of the clock. And that is going to officially do it for the first period. So no goals, lots of chances, few power plays. We'll be right back here with the second period. So hang tight. And we'll be back momentarily. Okay, folks, and 30 seconds come and gone once again. And we are right back to business here as the Miners continue their power play where they have 49 seconds officially as the puck dropped. So another big kill here for the Bulldogs as McKinnon's going to send that the length of the ice, and that's going to bounce over the stick of Graham and head all the way down. So that's going to kill some precious seconds here. So now the Miners are looking to break out. As away goes Kaiser. Kaiser, down the left side, shot, saved by Bowie, rebound reaches out into the slot, up to the point now, shot, that one was heading for the top left, but that goes up over the net there and ends up in the far corner, as McDonald's going to get that and send that, but that just bounces over the stick of Graham now, with five seconds left to go in the man advantage, so Andy Ganesh coach waves for a change, they're going to get some fresh legs out there as Carr jumps on, that's going to do it here for the power play. As now Armstrong just tries to go up the wall and he fans on that. Luckily, it would have went down for icing. A good pass there. Leave it for McNeil for the Miners. McNeil using those big, long strides. He's going to lose that at the blue line. Away goes McIsaac. McIsaac has Carr. Two on two, the back checker. McIsaac shot. That was destined for the top left corner, but that goes just up over as Carr's there first on the four check. Duggan out front looking for McIsaac. That's going to be cleared there by the Miners. Shot from Artabello. Tip. That goes wide. 
Kyra's on that. Now he's going to look for his options. He's going to go up, fake up top to Murphy and cut back the other way, excuse me. As now Murphy tries to pinch Mc McNeil off as he's off to the races, but that's picked up by Artabello. Artabello, great break go pass there for Duggan. Duggan gets a piece of that to keep that on side. He cuts to the middle. Duggan, back to the middle. Look back door for McIsaac, and it just didn't quite make it to him as Artabello's going to pick that up. Right top circle, shot blocked. Another shot, rebound, in the feet. Oh, and they had a great chance there as that was a cleared by McNeil coming back to help out as that puck was just laying in the crease with an open net. As now McNeil's going to get that low as Kaiser's going to pick that up on the backhand. Kaiser tries to center that. Intercepted by Artabello. Dykers now. Looks for his options. He's going to move it to McIsaac. McIsaac up the left side through neutral ice. He's got Hannon on him hard. McIsaac cut back to the left. He's going to fire that and big save there by Boulier as he kicks that into the corner. O'Coin now is going to pick that up on the half wall. He tries to make a move. That's intercepted there by Dwyer. Dwyer doing a great job on the wall there to take away that option as now the puck's in his feet as Dykers is going to join the party. And now we have a bunch of players there as that puck squirts out as Dixon's going to pick that up for the Miners. He's just going to head behind the net and rim that for Hannon. As now we're going to have another delayed penalty. As McKinnon stepped up to keep that puck in and he took out one of the Miners players and he's going to go for tripping here. So another power play opportunity here for the Miners as a few of the Bulldogs players shake their heads at that one. So face off back down the Bulldog zone here. Just under three minutes here into the second frame. As Dykers and McKenzie once again line up. That puck's going to be squirted back to the Miners at the point. And oh man, that changed direction as it caught Bowie going to the right, puck goes back left, but that just stays out of the net there, so a fortunate bounce there for the Bulldogs. Neutral ice now here for the Miners. Hannon, he's going to cut back to the middle. That's in the feet. Trying to go left side point now. As Morgan's going to take a shot. That goes wide right. Now the puck goes around, and McIsaac without a stick here. He still tries to get in front of that one as McDonald takes a high twig into the cage. That puck's going to be squirted loose down into the corner for McKenzie here. As there's sticks everywhere, as Murphy has his on the ice there. And a great job there by McIsaac to block that one. And a rebound chance there just goes wide. As the Bulldogs sacrifice in the body here on a Sunday morning. That's going to be sent the length of the ice there as they go for a quick long change here. So you got to be careful with that long change in the defensive end. And a great stretch pass there for McKenzie. McKenzie's going to pick that up. He looks for McNeil, but McNeil says keep it. Back to McNeil now. Fougier on him. Now Morell, McNeil, down the left side. He's going to step on Sangster, and he shoots, scores, backhand. Top corner for McNeil, and that's going to give the Miners a power play goal here and a 1-0 lead. So McNeil, a major threat out there, and try to get the puck to him as much as they can. and Just a nicely placed shot there. Pretty much beats any goaltender. No fault to Bowie there is, obviously he's been a bright spot here for the Bulldogs. Because now Andy Ganesh is going to win that draw. They're going to look to tie things up here right away. As Carr now causes a turnover, and that's going to be chopped back onto the, the Miners goaltender, Bootlier. Surprised him a little, but he was in a good spot, and he smothers that up, and we're going to have an offensive zone faceoff here for the Bulldogs. Face off now. Pushed to the back there by the Miners as Morell was on that hard and he, Fougier had that bounce off his stick. As now we're going to have another penalty here as Kaiser's upended by Sangster. So now we're going to have another power play here as Sangster's going to go for interference. Both players had their head down. One of them took the worst of it and the other one heads to the box. I gains the rules. So another big test here for the Bulldogs. This is a big kill here for them. As now we try and get the face-off formation from the Glace Bay coaches now. As in my mind, that would have been a new centerman here for the Miners, but away we go. 
So they send that down. That's going to hit McNeil. Now Armstrong's going to try and look to get that out of the zone as McIsaac goes and Duggan now. He's got that on. He's going to have a race here against Hogan. Duggan, shorthanded down the right side. He's pinched off and a nice move there through Link, but McNeil's back to help out. McNeil's away. He's going to have to race McKinnon there for the Bulldogs, but McKinnon's going to get there first. He's going to turn up the left side. He's just going to fire that the length of the ice. And a good job there to take away time and space as now Link's going to pick it up. He goes cross ice to McNeil. McNeil down the left side. He's got Kaiser and McKenzie. He looks for McKenzie just out of his reach. McKenzie fakes to the left. He goes right. Now he's going to try and come in behind the net. As he does, he's going to loop around, hit the brakes. So he's going to elude pressure there. As now he's looking for McNeil back door. McKenzie fires that to McNeil, and a good job there by Bowie to get a piece of that. And that's good head to heads up goaltending there from the youngster. McNeil's going to walk the top of the circles now into the slot. Shot tipped just wide there. So another block shot here for the Bulldogs. As Armstrong is going to battle McKenzie, now McIsaac's going to jump in and help out. So McKenzie comes out of the corner with the puck. Kaiser shot. Right into the bread basket there of Bowie, and he's just going to hold that one. And they're going to get a change here, both sides. 45 seconds left to go here. The man advantage, and 9.27 left to go in the second period. Miners continue to hold on to their one goal lead here. Bulldogs hoping a big penalty kill here could be a momentum shift for them. So that's going to find Murphy, and he's just going to fire that, but that's going to be held in at the point. That shot from the point gets through traffic and through the feet of Bowie, but wasn't on net, so that one's going to go wide as that one's fired through the middle here. Dwyer. McLean has it now for the Miners. He's just going to fire that up the ice, and a good read there by McDonald as he intercepted that one. McDonald fires that back down into the side. The Miners own a good pass there by McLean to Surrett. McIsaac, he's just going to intercept that one and send that down the ice. Ten seconds left to go now. In the man advantage as McDonald is four-checking hard. Five seconds left to go here in the man advantage. Three on two here for the Miners. Shot. Saved there by Bowie, and that's smothered up. And now even strength here as Murphy tries to get that puck out. Now McKay's is going to find the open man. So McKenzie working hard. Back to the point. McLean. Shot. Hits Sangster. Another block here for the Bulldogs. Hannon. Fires that up. Murphy into his feet, and they're going to hold that in at the line. Are the Miners? McKenzie now. He's going to work up the right side. He's going to try and partner pass, and that just gets through as McIsaac now for the Bulldogs is away. One on three. McIsaac's going to cut through the middle. Now he goes down the left side. He's got a little bit of a step. McIsaac, shot. And Bootler got just a piece of that as he was going for top right corner. Going to wiggle the Miners now as McKenzie. McKenzie cuts through the middle. Almost runs into Surratt. Nice move there as he goes in on McIsaac. McIsaac. Gives him a whack. Now Carr for the Bulldogs. He's going to cut to the middle. Now he beats McNeil one-on-one. -on -one. Dykers, he's away. That puck's going to find the stick of Dykers again here as he had to push away. Dykers has a step, and he's in all alone. One hand on the stick. Rebound sitting there in the slot. Backhand shot. Morell, and it's blocked there by the Miners defender. Otherwise, that was destined for the net. McKinnon, shot from the point. Back to him now. Bounces over his stick. Good back pressure there by Artabello and a great read to get back there and take away that opportunity as Artabello's down the right side and he's tripped up, so we're going to have a delayed penalty here as McNeil just got the stick into the skates and the Bulldogs are going to go to the power play with 7.18 left to go in the second period. Today's power play brought to you by High Button Sports. As we're going to head back down to the minor zone here, so... Uh, Another great opportunity here for the Bulldogs as they look for the equalizer. As McNeil clears the glass in the penalty box so he can see what's going on. Very foggy down there at ice level. Back to Sangster. Sangster's going to turn fire that, and that was blocked there by O'Coin. And that one's going to sting for a minute, but he's ready to go back in the saddle. Artabello now. He turns with speed. Up to Carr. Carr's going to take that one. He looks for his pass through the middle. Fans on that. Now that's going to be sent the length of the ice here. By the Miners. Sangster's back for it now. He's going to try and pick up speed around the net here, and he does. Sangster up to Duggan. Duggan one touch to McIsaac through the middle, just through the feet there of Dixon. And now Carr's away. Carr has a hard time with that one as he was gone. But he blew a tire there. It's Artabello now. He's just going to fire that into the Miners' zone. They're just going to play pitch and catch here in neutral ice. 
Because now Sangster's going to pick it up, and he's just going to loop through the middle of the ice. Sangster looking for his options now. He's just going to fire that up the wall, and that's going to find Duggan. Duggan down the left side. Now they have some numbers. Duggan's just going to fire that at the net, and it's blocked by Dixon. He's back on that now. As they battle for that, he's going to come over to the corner with the puck now. As Kaiser bumps him. McKinnon, shot, tipped by their own player. Rebound, shot, scores! McDonald on the doorstep, and he salutes Bowie down at the other end, and that's a power play goal for the Bulldogs as that puck was shot from the point, deflected, and McDonald, right spot, right time, and happy early Christmas to McDonald as he ties things up here in the second period on the power play. So good job to stay with that. And we're all knotted up here, folks, and this thing's just about to open wide up here, in my opinion. As now Fougier's away. Fougier hits the brakes, cuts to the middle. Nice move. Back to the middle again. Fougier. Shot. That's tipped just wide. We're going to fire that up the wall for Dwyer. Dwyer intercepts that. He's going to work his way down the corner, but that's poked away from him. Armstrong. He's going to jump and hold that at the point. He takes a bump. And they got all mixed up with their sticks. Because he thought he was grabbing his, but he actually was grabbing the Glace Bay players. A little comedy here for us. As McKenzie, one on two now. Armstrong's going to press him, and so is McKinnon. Great job to take away his time and spaces. McKenzie's going to look to back check, but McKinnon's going to step down the wall. Lost that in the feet of the linesman there. As we're going to have a scrum at the boards here, just in front of the Bulldogs bench. As that puck's going to score it free. The Miner's just going to send that up. It's going to hit McKenzie, but he gets a fortunate bounce, and he's going to pick that up now. Down the right side, McIsaac gets a stick on him. McKenzie back to the point. Nobody there yet as they were changing. Morell down the left side. He's going to move down the left side here. He's pinched off by Link as he still has the puck here. Morell just working his way in a straight line here. He's going to try and fire that out front, and he does. Back to Murphy. Murphy shot. Rebound, sits in the slot, but that's picked up here as McNeil's going to go away for the Miners. McNeil tries to go chip and go as Murphy read that. Now it's going to be McIsaac here. As he finds Carr. Carr's going to turn the Jets on. He's going to head up ice. Carr with Dykers and Morell. Carr tries to make a move to the middle, and that's intercepted. we got a tough change here as McNeil's away, and Saxer's going to hustle. McNeil down the left side. He's going to cut back to the middle. And Artabella was there in good positioning as he read that play. And that's taken away from McNeil, who was all alone there as both teams were changing. And like I said, the Andy Ganesh dealing with the long change here. Something you do have to consider during the game. So now they fight down the right corner. His car is going to get that. He's just going to fire that up off the wall. That's held in, shot back down into the corner. Kaiser's going to go for a change for the Miners, which gives Sankster a little bit of time here behind the net. He's just going to go chip and go. Morell. Tries to get that out of the zone. It stays in. Sangster now. He's going to head back the other way. Sangster around the net. He's going to use his speed. That's going to hit the feet there. Of Artabello. Now it's going to be sent back down again. So Sangster in behind his own net. He's going to fire that one around to Morell, the winger. He's just going to cut back into his zone as he caught Surrett going the other way. Morell looking for McIsaac. He gets a piece of that. That's going to go the length of the ice here. And they're going to wave that off. As McIsaac's going to forecheck now, and that's rimmed around for McDonald. McDonald's going to intercept that on the half wall. 3.25 left to go here. In the, and Duggan, shot. And a good block there by McLean. Another shot. Good save by Bootlier. Rebound. Another save by Bootlier as that puck lays in the crease. Andy Ganish celebrates, but the ref had blown the whistle, and he puts his arms up right away with conviction. So that's going to go just to the left of Bootlier there. So a couple good chances there for the Bulldogs as they look to go ahead. 3.18 left to go here in the second period. As the crowd up there is given the ax sign for a goal. Probably can't see that in your camera, but great view from up here in the booth. Face off, McIsaac. And McNeil's going to push that through, and that's going to go the length of the ice. As that's going to be a delayed icing if that makes it, and it does. Faceoff's going to go right back down where we started here. Faceoff won by the Miners. They send that up the walls. Armstrong's there to keep that in. As now Duggan 
He's going to fire that out front, looking for McIsaac and McDonald as that gets through both their feet. McKinnon, he's going to fire that. That goes off the side of the net. Four check here by the Bulldogs as McDonald's going to come up with that as he battles with O'Coin. McDonald, now McNeil has it. As he's going to be smothered here, but he gets it in behind traffic. McNeil tries to center that, and he does, and that gets through. And oh, what a chance there for the Miners as Bowie lost his stick. And away goes McIsaac. So Bowie's going to have a second here to get a stick, but McIsaac down the right side. He's going to cut back to the middle. McIsaac, another nice move. McIsaac forehand. Oh, what a save there by Bootlier as McIsaac beat two defenders and was in semi partially. As Bowie has his stick now. And away goes O'Coin. He's going to pass that through the middle of McKenzie. McKenzie's got a step. McKenzie, shot, scores. Blocker side there. As McKenzie goes by the bench with a big celly, and that's going to give the Miners a 2-1 lead here with 2.16 left to go here in the second period. Just caught Danny Ganesh, defender going the other way here, and he had some speed built already. And that's a good equation there for success. As away goes Dwyer here for the Bulldogs. He's going to make his way inside the zone. He's trying to even things up right away here. Dwyer down the right side, in behind the net now. He's going to look to center that as he tries to go back in, but that's intercepted. Two minutes left to go here now. Kaiser is going to pick that up for Glace Bay. He's pushed off the wall there by Carr. Carr wants that puck back. He gets it, but it's poked away now again. And we're going to have another delayed penalty here. As it looks like it's going to be Fougier for tripping here for the Bulldogs. So a late power play in the second period here for the Miners. So the rules are being strictly enforced here this morning. McKenzie and Dykers on the draw now, as that's one by Dykers, and Artabello is just going to fire that up to the left point. That's held in there. There's a shot coming from the point. Tip Sankster's going to have it on his stick now, and he goes the other way as he takes a little bump from McIsaac, and he's just going to send that the length of the ice. So Miners will be on power play here for the rest of the period, of course, unless they score. It's a break go pass to McNeil. McNeil up ice now. He's got some space. As McKenzie's in a half second before, and that's going to be offside, and he is not happy. Certainly looks offside from up here, but I'm not wearing the stripes. As coach for the Miners tells the guys to calm down just a bit. Lots of hockey left to be played here with a minute 15 left to go here in the period. We're going to have a new centerman here for the Miners. Now that's one by Andy Ganesh, and Sanctuary's going to send that the length of the ice. Now the Miners are going to work it in behind here, looking for their options on the breakout as Andy Ganesh continues to press here on the penalty kill as now McIsaac's down on the ice here. As he gets his way back to his feet as McDonald pressures. He's got McNeil. McNeil's away. As they back check hard there as McKenzie looked for that loose puck. Now Sangster, he's going to battle for that, and he's going to win that battle, and away he goes. He's going to try and win that one-on-one -on -one battle on the way through to his feet, through the middle. Sangster cuts to his backhand, tries to get that shot off, and he's all down, and now we're going to have a penalty here as McIsaac picks it up, and the Miners are going to go for slashing here, so that's going to even things up. 33.4 seconds left to go. Vanilla Ice playing over the speakers here. So 52 seconds was left on the Glace Bay power play, and now that will be canceled as we're going to go four on four here for the last 34 seconds, and the Bulldogs will have just over a minute power play at the conclusion of their own penalty. As now McKenzie's going to make his way up ice. He's got Surrett. McKenzie in on McKinnon. McKinnon, good feet, footwork there. 
Because now they're going to go Duggan, chip and go, looking for Carr. Carr now with the speed. That puck's just chipped and stays inside the blue line. So 10 seconds left to go as Armstrong's going to pick that one off. Sered in over the line. Sered on McKinnon. McKinnon in his feet, but that moves to the corner now. Five seconds. So that puck's going to find its way to the point as Duggan's gone, but he's not going to have enough time here as that's going to do it here for the second period. The Miners come out to a 2-1 lead here late in the second, and they hold on to that lead. And we're going to head back to the third period here in just a moment, so stay with us. Okay, folks, so I lied. It wasn't going to be a quick break. We're going to do a flood here. So very professional feel here for the kids here this morning, and we're going to do a flood. We'll take a quick break, and we will be back with you very shortly. So thank you for tuning in, and stay right here.
And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we are back for third period action as the teams are going to start four on four here. As we are officially underway, the Sanctuary is just going to fire that one in deep. As McIsaac gives chase. McIsaac. You got to imagine that the message in the Bulldogs dressing room was just keep playing your game. What got you here? Let's get some good scoring chances here and take away the space of this player here, McNeil, as he tries to make a move now. As Fugier exits the box, and now Andy Ganesh is going to have a power play. A minute and two second power play as McNeil's just going to eat ice here. Take the puck, and he's just going to fire that down the length of the ice. As Sankster's going to go back for it now. So 2-1 lead here for the Miners, third period. 15 minutes for the Bulldogs here. As Sangster with speed up the ice, he's going to go down the right side. Now he cuts the middle, down the left side, shot. Tries to go through traffic there as McKenzie's going to have that, that bounced off, and Duggan was there. McKenzie's just going to fire that the length of the ice, and that's going to make its way all the way down onto Bowie. Bowie's just going to deflect that one into the corner. As Artabello now, he's going to have that turned over. The Miners, as Sangster's going to jump back down, and he tries the wraparound attempt, and that's in the pads there of Bowie, who, who's in another good positional scenario there for himself. So he's going to smother that up. We're going to have a face-off here. 18 seconds left here to go in the man advantage. So an abbreviated power play here for the Bulldogs. See if they can make something happen here late in the man advantage. As that face-off's pushed forward there by Dykers. Is now it's going to be dumped back in and held in at the line. As Surrett's going to go back for it. See what meets McKinnon there. Dwyer on the wall. Runs into McKenzie there. Now they're just going to dump that back down. So that's going to do it here for the Miners power play. So back to even strength here. Five on five as McKinnon makes his way up the ice. McKinnon down the left side. He's got to step on Dixon. McKinnon shot. Bootlier got just enough of that to deflect it up over the net there. As McDonald's now going to race McKenzie for it. McDonald in his feet. Dykers, he's just going to fire that back down low into the feet. McDonald, he's going to try and walk a lane to the net here. McDonald battling Morgan. Morgan takes him down. No call there. As now Dykers joins the party, he's going to try and fire that up to the point, but McKenzie was looking for the fast break. Dykers in his feet, moves to the middle. Dykers has that pushed off his stick. McKinnon fires that towards the net. That doesn't make it as Dixon's going to intercept that. Now it's held in at the line. McKinnon shot into the feet of Morgan. Bulldogs pressing here after the power play. Dykers shot. Deflected into the corner there from Boutelier as that one didn't have a whole lot of steam on it. Now they're just going to rim that around the ice. As McIsaac's going to go for it here. Now they're going to wave it off as McIsaac took an alternate route. Now he's going to hit the brakes and go back the other way as he had pressure coming around the other side. So good job with the head up. And he goes dangerous pass through the middle. Fugier down the right side. Up the middle to McIsaac. McIsaac in over the line. Shot. Saved there by Bootlier. Rebound's going to stick there as Bootlier smothers that up. And now the puck's in the crease there as Duggan was hard on it. Now that puck's going to bounce over the stick there of Hannon. And that's going to come outside the zone as Duggan... Regroups now, and now they're on side, so that puck's going to go in behind as Hogan's going to pick that up for the Miners as McIsaac was hired on him. As now Morell wants it. He's going to pinch that at the wall. McIsaac. That's held in at the line by Murphy, and now it gets out. No, it stays. No, it is out. Looked over at the linesman, got the call there, and that's going to be offside as McNeil was off to the races there. Three minutes and five seconds gone here in the third period. Bulldogs trailing two to one. As that pass was looking for Carr, now McIsaac's away. McIsaac, one on two. McIsaac, cut to the right side, shot. Glove saved there by Bootlier as he elects to stay up. And McIsaac tries to go top bunk. And another good save there by Bootlier. We're going to go face off inside the minor zone to the right of Bootlier and to the right of the booth here. As that face off is going to go down as a draw, as Junior McNeil is just going to fire that through the middle. And that's going to be picked up by Murphy, and that's going to find the stick of Carr. And Owen Hogan just got enough of that to keep Carr from having a good chance. Kaiser tries to go through the feet of Murphy. Murphy intercepts that, and he's just going to fire that just inside the blue line. Now McIsaac, he's going to go cross ice to Morell. Morell. Good look, pass to McIsaac. McIsaac through the middle now. He's tripped up, no call. As now they try and send that up as that's off the stick of McNeil, and that's going to be sent low now as McIsaac's going to get it for the Bulldogs. McIsaac, good awareness there to find out where he was on the net. Now it's in behind. Three Bulldogs in now. As Carr's going to make his way out front, he wants the puck. Now he's going to go the other side, and he pokes that off the stick of Kaiser, and now it's going to come out into the middle of the ice here as O'Coin's going to fire that through the middle. 
looking for McNeil as McIsaac tried to intercept that now, and Murphy's just going to send that low, and that's stopped by Link before it makes its way to the corner. Link, middle of the ice, turnover. Dwyer, he's going to fire that at the net as that goes wide, and McIsaac's going to race Link there for it, and he's going to get there first. But McNeil joins the party, and then he's going to try and go through the middle to the other McNeil, and now it's intercepted. Down to the feet of McIsaac. Was Dwyer. McIsaac cuts to the middle. He tries to go out center, and that's blocked. As McDonald was there, McDonald battles hard now as that's in the feet, and that's taken away by McNeil. Now it's shot back out front, up to the point. Artabello, he's going to turn and fire that, and that's in the feet of Hogan as he goes through the feet, and that back up to the point for Artabello as he pinches down once again. McDonald tries to center that. That's off the feet of Hogan. As O'Coin now makes a move, makes another move. Now it's picked up by McDonald, neutralized. He's going to swing. He's going to pick up some speed. Down the left side, McDonald with a step now. He moves it to the middle as Link pressured him, and now McNeil was heading towards his own. Now he's just going to dump that into the corner as Link makes a play here and intercepted by Dykers, hard on the wall, and that's going to be played with a high stick. Nope, Sanksher's going to fire that back down and blocked again by Link. Link, he's just going to fire that the length of the ice up and over everybody on the stick of Sanksher who had retreated from the blue line. And a smart play there as Artabello is going to go through the middle now, and that's just going to bounce down the other end. No icing as they wave that off, kind of. As Dykers takes away the wall now, Surrett trying to get away. He's pinched there by Artabello, and now that's going to be picked up by Fougier. is going to loop around. Fougier over to Duggan. Duggan one touch through the middle looking for Dykers. That puck's going to squirt through. It's going to make its way to Bootlier. Bootlier is going to grab that with a stick and cover that up as Dykers was coming hard. And he's going to take no chances there, and he's just going to hold that here with 9.09 left to go in the third period. So under 10 minutes left to go here for the Dogs. Now we're going to have a face-off just to the left of Bootlier. As Dykers tries to go forward, that's going to be moved up to the point. Armstrong's just going to fire that towards the net. Duggan. He's going to fire that back around to Armstrong. Catches everybody going the other way. Armstrong, fans on that. McLean's going to send that the length of the ice, and that's going to go down for icing, and we're going to restart here down in the offensive zone for the Bulldogs. So McKenzie and McIsaac on the draw here as they size each other up. McKenzie's asked to square his feet up here. As that puck's going to be pushed through by Hannon. And a good job by Carr there. Carr looking to make a move through the middle of the ice. McIsaac's got McKenzie on him. Shot. That's going to find Morell down the left corner. Morell's got three minors to beat. Oh, front Carr with an opportunity there. And he's tripped up as McKenzie's away. And a good play there by Armstrong to take away that space. And now we're going to have an offside call as McIsaac had a break. But... The Bulldogs player was in, just trying to get out of the zone here. So face off just outside the minor zone now. Carr was looking for the fast break there, but the puck didn't find him. As now Will McIsaac's going to make his way down the left side. He's going to cut over the blue line. He's just going to make the safe play and get that in behind the net there as Carr's going to race Morgan for it. Carr's going to get there first. But he leaves the puck behind, and now he battles, and that's going to go up off the glass and held in by Murphy. So good hand eye there as now McNeil has Kaiser. Two on one. McNeil with McIsaac on him into his feet. McIsaac, now he's going to turn and fire that. We're going to have a late offside call now. So we're going to bring that face off outside the Bulldog zone here. 8.01 left to go now. Since the third period started, the Bulldogs have had some good pressure, but they can't get into the scoring zone here as the Miners are locking it up, protecting the house. As Now they're just going to fire that in deep and try and kill some of the clock here and make the Bulldogs work out of their own zone now as McIsaac's going to make a break-go pass. That's intercepted by McNeil. McNeil turns. He makes a nice move, two moves. Now he's going to hold it. He's loop-de-loop, -loop, side to side. He goes up to the point. Morgan, shot off the skates of Murphy. Now that's Dwyer. Dwyer's going to go through the middle to Murphy. Murphy has that intercepted as he was pinched off there by Morgan. Nice move there by Dwyer. Dwyer cuts back to the middle. 
Moves to the left now as he's pinched there by Dixon. Dwyer, he's going to look down the left corner. He's going to try and find his options, but he doesn't like what he sees, so he goes down low to Dykers. That's intercepted. So now Glace Bay is just going to hold it down their zone as Kaiser leaves it there for Dixon. Dixon's going to loop back in front of his net. Now he's going to head behind. As McDonald's pressing hard here. That puck's going to be rimmed around to Kaiser, and Sangster jumps in here to take away that time and space. Sangster once again holds it in at the point. Finds Dykers. Dykers walking the line. And now he loses it, but he gets it back in the feet of Dykers here as he battles. Now he knocks that one down and keeps that in the zone. He's just going to fire that into his feet on the wall here as they pin that up against the walls. McNeil looks to go. Duggan, he's going to cut down underneath the goal line. One hand out front. Laying there in the crease. McDonald bangs away at it. Artabello now in his feet. As McKenzie's away. Artabello's going to have to get back here. McKenzie, Sangster, poke check. He tries to go in behind him, and he does. And now they're going to be a delayed penalty on Sangster here as McKenzie had a step. That's going to be a tripping call there on Sangster with 6.23 left here in the third period. No shortage of penalties, penalties here in this game. So face off down in front of Bowie. That faceoff's pushed to the middle of the ice there by the Miners, and now McKinnon's going to pick that up, and he's just going to fire that down. That gets by Link, and McIsaac might have a step on him, but Link gets there, and a good job. Is that that's in the feet of Fougier here. McKenzie's away now for the Miners. In over the line, right side, winds up, slap shot. Smothered up by Bowie there, who takes that in the bread basket. Six oh four. Left in the third period, time ticking away here for the Bulldogs. 141 left to kill here before they can get back to regular scheduled programming. As McKay's going to take that off the draw, but it's pushed down low, and that puck's going to squirt out into the slot for Hogan. Hogan's going to shoot that, and a nice save through traffic there for Bowie. That's a big one there for the Bulldogs. That's going to come back out to the point, and that's pushed through the middle. McNeil's going to have a step now. He makes a move. McNeil, shot, scores. As that puck took a funny bounce, and McNeil made two in tight plays there, and he's just going to tuck that one home to make it 3 1 here for the Miners. So the Glace Bay faithful on their feet here, as the Andy Ganish coach gives some words of encouragement there and some claps. You know, they're not out of this thing yet here. It's 5.47. It's plenty of time here to score two goals. Seen it done, and we will continue to see it over our lifetime. So we'll see if the dogs can come up with some clutch performers here as Carr tries to get that one on the offensive side, and he takes a tumble into the boards. As now he's going to go off. Is that hurt? As now that puck's picked up by O'Coin. O'Coin's just going to fire that back down low here as McIsaac's going to go back forward for the Bulldogs. McIsaac's got two miners on him and he's just going to fire that thing and that's into the feet so they're going to go back up to the point here. Graham, he's just going to fire that at the net and is blocked. Away goes Dykers. Dykers has Morell. Dykers over to Morell in his feet. Morell chip and go down into the corner now. He's going to battle with Graham as Dykers plants himself in front of the net with McDonald. McKenzie's going to go up the wall. Backhand pass to O'Coin. O'Coin on the wing. He's taken by McDonald there. Murphy. He's going to move up ice. He has some space. Runs into his own guy. Murphy cuts to the middle. Shot. Smothered by Bootlier there. No rebound as Dykers was hard on it. Another good shot there from the middle of the ice, but they can't get any closer there as the Miners' defense are just clogging the middle. There's no McIsaac and McNeil. Are going to line up on the draw here. That's one back by McNeil here. There's now McIsaac's on and he's going to walk to the middle. He makes a move. Cuts in. Shot. Saved there by Bootlier. The rebound is there. And now some bodies are flying here. As now we got things cleared away here.
So another face off to the left of Bootley here. 440 left to go in the third period now. Bulldogs down two. Another face off one by McNeil, and that is pushed right to the slot there and into the crease as Dwyer and Graham. And they're only going to take one here. As now the Andy Ganish coach is going to want an explanation as they traded shots in front of the net, and he's just going to send just the Bulldogs player. And in my opinion, if you want that to stop as a referee myself, you just send them both, get rid of the shenanigans in front of the net, and move along here. Nonetheless, I'm not the ref. And I'm not trying to pick on him there, just giving my personal opinion here. It's a little bit of a roughing experience. Because that's going to be a tough bounce here for the Bulldogs. But if they can get a shorthanded goal here, they can be right back in the, the game now. As Fougier's away. As, and we're going to have an offside call. So 4.25 left to go here in the third period. Clutch time now here for the Bulldogs. Or gut check time, as they call it in the biz. Now we have a very large confusion as to who's supposed to be on the ice here for the Miners. But now we get it figured out as McKenzie's going to push that one back to Morgan. And Duggan looks to win that battle. But now O'Coin's just going to send that deep here as Kaiser's going to give chase. And he's got Sangster on him hard. Kaiser met by Sangster. Picked up by McIsaac. He's going to fire that into the slot. Morgan shot, tipped. Doesn't make its way to the net. Now it does. In the crease. Bowie. Or Bowie. As they're going to wave that one off as the puck was underneath. Bowie there. 4.04 left to go now. A minute 28 left to go here in the Miners power play. Time ticking away here for the Bulldogs. Faced off now, one back by the Bulldogs. Carr is going to push that back to Armstrong. He's going to get in position. Back down low for the Miners. Into the corner, O'Coin turns. He uses his body. As now Dykers is going to make a move for it. He pushes that in behind the net, and Sangster's away. Sangster looking for Carr. That finds his stick. He gets just enough of that to send it in, and Carr's going to get there first. He's got Dixon on him hard. Carr just pushes that in behind the goal line. Dixon now. He's going to have to retreat and get back. Dixon up off the wall. Sangster. He's going to intercept that. As Dykers zagged here. Now they're going to be onside as he's going to cut back and go the other way. Now he's just going to fire that at the net. Bootleader's just going to deflect that into the corner. Carr now. Stick check. Out through the crease. Nobody there. As now that's held in by Armstrong. Three, Just over three minutes to go now. Armstrong, he's going to hold the line. Time to start pressing here for the dogs. That's going to be sent the length of the ice, but it's not going to make it all the way down, so it's going to be no icing as Sangster goes back for it, and he's going to wheel in front of the net now as he looks for his option. Sorry, that's McKinnon. To Morrell, he's just going to fire that in on net. His bootleader is just going to eat that, and they're going to have an offensive zone faceoff here at the Bulldogs with 2.51 left to go and 15 seconds left in the penalty. To Dwyer. Face off now. Pushed aside by McNeil. Morell's just going to dump that into the corner. McNeil now is going to try and take the space through the middle of the ice, and he does. And away goes McNeil for the minors. McNeil straight down the middle of the ice. Now he cuts left. Cuts left again. He's going to use the power move to try and get in behind. He's pushed off now as Morell's just going to send that. The length of the ice, the penalty was over, so that's going to be an icing call now with 2.26 left to go. So miracle time here for the Bulldogs. They can get one on this next shift. They'll be in a good spot here in the last minute. A little bit of adversity here for the team. An absolutely well-played game here thus far as the crowd fills in even more now. So that's going to be pushed up by Murphy. 
Up the wall now. Murphy tries to get that out in the feet of Morgan. Murphy, he's going to exit the zone now. Duggan, he's going to go up against Dixon there as Dixon gets there first. Fougier's just going to fire that in on the net as Bootler's just going to give that a tap. McIsaac, he's got Sered on to McIsaac. Makes a move. He gets around. He's going to try the wrap around. Pass. Oh, front shot scores. Fougier on the doorstep. And he's going to cut the lead to one here. As McIsaac on the good four check, he's just going to fire that out front. And Fougier in great positioning. And like I said, if they score one on this shift, they'll put themselves in a good spot with just 159 left to go here. So a good play there to get that in deep. And get in on the forecheck as McIsaac caused a turnover, made a move and fired that out front. And Fougier fired up for that one. So now the Bulldogs seem to have a little more life there on the bench. Sangster, he's going to get the line, just chip that through the feet of Duggan now. That's going to go down the ice there as Artabello is going to try and get back hard for it. And that's going to be no icing there as he got back quick. Artabello. With speed, up the right side. He's being pressured by Kaiser. Artabello, now he's going to cut through the middle, trying to find some space on McIsaac. Blows a tire. Graham's going to pick it up now as Artabello is battling. And there goes the goaltender. Bowie, sorry, Bowie to the net as Sangster picks that up. And O'Coin's going to turn that over. And he's got an empty cage. And a great play there by McIsaac as he dives and gets puck first. And play's going to continue here as the ref had the whistle to his mouth and everyone's got their arms in the air except for the Bulldogs, and now it's a tough break there as the empty net and the puck squirts in there as a great play by McIsaac to take away that chance. And now the two-goal lead is going to be restored here by the Miners. In a crazy turn of events, as McIsaac in the desperation play slides back and goes puck only. There was a little bit of confusion, but play continued. And the empty netter was put in by O'Coin, as he tells Mr. Referee. So a minute 12 left, so still lots of time. I think the Miners are aware of that as well. So a tough break there for the Bulldogs. As now Dykers goes forward with it. He's got Link. He's going to pick that up. His Kaiser is going to take that. Now as Artabello just jumps in the play, and he's going to steal that. Sangster. The Bulldogs are going to have to get on side here. Sangster's going to come in over the left side. He tries to cut to the middle, and he had two players to beat, and he gets caught up in that traffic. Last minute to play now in the third period as that puck is held on the wall here by McNeil trying to kill the clock. And now we're going to have a whistle here as the ref's seen enough. And that faceoff's going to come outside as that was held in by the Bulldogs player, he's going to say. So 53.1 seconds left to go here in the third. So that faceoff is won cleanly back by McNeil. Link just going to fire that. Hits the body of Morrell. Turnover now. McIsaac, he's got a step on the left side. McIsaac tries to fight that one. Goes into the crease there. As now it's going to be ripped around the other side as Artabello is going to pick it up and he's going to go. He's pinched off by Kaiser. Back up to the point. Carr, he makes a move. Walks into the middle. He's pressured there by Kaiser. That puck's going to squirt out to the left point now. Sangster, Carr gets there first in his feet. That puck's going to stay inside the zone as Carr's there. He's on his knees and a good play there. As now Link's just going to try and send that the length of the ice and it's blocked by Artabello. Artabello is going to have that puck squirt through as McNeil now tries to get it into the open cage. And that is going to be another empty netter there for Kaiser. And that's going to pretty much do it here. Folks, with 13 seconds left to go, and the Miners take a 5-3 lead. So 13.8 seconds left to go now. Face off at center. And McIsaac go. He wants some more. McIsaac in on Hogan. Cut to the middle. A little move through the middle. In his feet. Shot just wide of the net there as Dwyer had a chance. Up to the point. Three seconds left to go. Shot by Armstrong. And that's going to do it here, folks. As the Glace Bay Miners have punched their ticket to the championship game here at the Allen Sullivan Memorial. And a great job by both teams and great job by Andy Ganesh here as they swept the round robin and took a tough loss here this afternoon. Played their hearts out all weekend. It's been an absolute pleasure to be the voice and the provider here for the Andy Ganesh Bulldogs and we thank them for having us aboard here. 
So for High Button Sports, I am Matt Dudelay alongside Justin Belanger, and we are signing off here.